Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Axiom Verge. I'm Nye. I went and took a look at achievements real quick, and uh, I'm a little bit off-put by uh, what I saw. So, um, the achievement for Secret World is not we found the Secret World. It's we found a Secret World. We found our first is the uh, actual text of the achievement. So, uh, there are more than just that one we found, and I will have to uh, keep an eye out. Um, I don't want to go this way. And see if I can maybe make some more headway in this zone. What was stopping us? Oh, corruption was... That corruption wasn't stopping us. I guess for some reason I thought this... Oh, no, corruption was stopping us. That's right. It's this corruption was stopping us. Okay. I'm like, yeah, this tree isn't stopping me from doing anything. No, corruption stopping us there. Okay. So we can't do that. I'm also kind of off-put by that. Okay. So and in the upper right, we get this very, very large area... Um, okay, I'm trying to think of like where we go. Um, because I unfortunately kind of feel like we're dead ending a little bit. The upper right in, in Area 5 doesn't really feel... Sorry, the upper right in Area 4 doesn't really feel... Um, like it's a place I can advance right now. Okay, let's, uh, I forget which, is this, is this, I think this is Eden, and I think this is the closest Eden exit to where I was last time. Yeah. What was stopping me from going through this door on the right? Corruption. Okay. Uh, I think this is the direction we want to go. So this is where all of those really tough enemies were that were uh, giving me a lot of issues last time. I think we're going to go ahead and change to this. This just allows me to hit some enemies that are um, maybe originally out of my view. Okay. That should give me some access now. Being able to just hit enemies, like these enemies were really screwing with me. I'm going to transfer, I'm going to hit some of these uh these caterpillars because yeah I kind of figured they would just break some stuff for me okay ah there it is okay I see it so we got a new data log it looks like unfortunately these are on a global cycle so we have to wait for them 
Okay, so we are making some measure of headway. Go ahead and just wait that one out. Okay, so what is this? Bica translation. To better understand the Rasalki, we made this command. Reveal Vika. Better understand. Interesting way to uh, to t uh, to say that. Do they not understand them in the first place? Do they not make them? B Y A H Y A. That's not it. The outsider. I am so tired of her schemes. If not for her, we wouldn't e be even be in this predicament, and now this ridiculous plan. Aside from Drushka's obvious interest in her, we have no indication she's even telling the truth. We don't know where she is from, or even what strain she is. She seems to have greater capabilities than she admits. Should I have let you kill her when I had the chance? I do not know what is right anymore. I have a new dream for you. I think you will like this one. It starts with your death and goes on from there. Return to my embrace. I've missed killing you. Hmm. Katrahaska got to him before I had a chance. He is here, and he released some kind of plague. I tried to stop him, but failed. He thinks I am dead. He's holed up at the breach attractor now. We cannot let him escape. I realize I failed in our primary objective, but please hear me out. I didn't just kill Katrahaska's body. I use the Gatebreaker. We have a fresh set of nano gates to do with whatever we please. Given what we recently learned about the Sujin Rebirth Chamber, we could use this to our advantage. In fact, it may be better than my original plan. We would control him. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, that's the storm. We already knew that one. That's English. Okay. A reply, the outsider. Simply must stop tempting me with such delectable musings. It is with great restraint that I say respect your original decision. She may be playing Puppet Master, but for now, we need her. But once we've got what we came for, please let her be mine. Please? Hmm. So, not all is as it appears, apparently. The Rasulka are playing some sort of game, and also, they're supposedly controlling me. Now, what I'm kind of curious of is what... Uh, to what um, extent and what nature... Is that control? Okay, the game expects me to be able to go through here at some point. And that's my boss. Problem is, I cannot currently get in there. Due to just lack of, um... Lack of access. How am I supposed to make that jump? That's what I want to know. How am I supposed to make that jump? Oh, I think. Almost. Yeah, okay. So we are on boss killing time. 
Remember how I said I was curious how this weapon would fare on a boss? I guess we get to find out. It's actually been, an, been a bit since we last saw ourselves a boss. And bosses usually come with game-changing technologies. So what on earth is this one going to offer me? Big room. Hmm. Did it reform? Ah, oh god, what the hell is this? Roar. Grace, that is an aborted clone of Athedos. This is how Athedos makes soldiers. Oh. What do I do? Can T be healed? It's too late. He's dying. He should not even have survived this long. Demon unlocked clone. I've had it. I can't do this anymore. I know I'm him. In some messed up way, I'm a Thedos. So tell me now, what the hell is going on? Ophelia? It's true. You are a Thedos, or would be, if you continued on as you were. But you were not one of these clones. The Athedos that made these is much older, changed. After Athedos arrived here, we discovered it was not for first time. He apparently made his way here once before, when he was your age. Legend has it he was kinder then, and he used one of the rebirth chambers. Let me get this straight. I came here at some point years ago before this plague happened. Yes, and you used a rebirth chamber red mechanical egg I woke up in, but clearly that wasn't the first time, or we'd have no Athedos. The original exited the chamber and became Athedos. You were a copy made from the data left behind. We gambled that a much younger Athedos would be different, that you would help us. So why don't I remember coming here? Copy or not, I shouldn't have had any sense of time passage. It should have felt like any other time I stepped into an egg and stepped immediately out. We don't know. All this happened long ago, hundreds of years ago even. Data degradation? What exactly do you remember? You first. What made Athedos want to attack this world? Or is that part even true? It is true. It is entire reason we are here. The years have changed him, Grace. He was in the breach for a long time. We don't know what happened there. I need to talk to him. He'll tell me what's going on. That's what I'd do. No, you will continue as planned. And how are you going to make me do that exactly? Like this. Ah! Something's wrong. I'm... I'm... Oh dear. So this is how they control us. By killing us when they don't like what we did. Holy crap, that was excruciating. Trace, are you okay? Hell no. What just happened? Elsa Nova. She hates Athedos, and as you pointed out, you are him. Just now, what happened to me? Did she? Yes, she can shut down your nanogates at any time. I brought you back. This goes much faster with your help. Please, find Athedos and speak with him, if that's what you want. You don't have to fight him. We just need the breach attractor shut down. Can you do that? Okay, but no killing him. Agreed. I'm going to talk to Elsa Nova. She'll come around. Okay. That was interesting. And a boss that wasn't a That's the second boss that wasn't a boss. Hmm. That goes down. Game is, uh... Definitely going in some certain... Excuse me? Some certain directions. I actually appreciate that the game is doing things that I cannot really accurately predict. There's gonna be, we gotta find more secret worlds too. I wonder if the secret world I found was the one that you, they, that you think most players find or if that's uh, dependent on player. Oh, hello. This looks like we should have a, uh, ooh. 
Are we finally going to get a tool that allows us to bypass big corruption? This reminds me of rooms where the Rasulka are. Mm hmm. In case you were wondering what our bodies look like. What are you talking about? Those big things back there? Hundreds of years old, but intact, more or less. Even self repairing technology has its limits. So, you have bodies. Am I supposed to help attach your heads onto these things? I don't think that's necessary. The repair drones will be more than adequate. But I wanted to repair you for what is to come. Rasalki. That is the word in Elsa Nova's language. These things are huge. Why do you even need me? You're still the only one who can get close enough to Athedos to disable the breach attractor. But you're right. One on one against our true forms, he wouldn't pose even a slight threat. They are large. Address Bomb. Concentrates the power of the Address Disruptor into a powerful explosion. Requires bomb ammo, which we now have three of. Uh, the uh, Rasulki are very large indeed. I'm gonna make a guess that an address bomb. Okay, now we're getting bomb ammo. Okay. Wipes out everything, including. Ah, and it also disrupts. Interesting. Okay. Now we have what is effectively this game's version of the power bomb. But it has some very specific uses. I thought I saw a uh, area over here that I could maybe descend. No, I was wrong, apparently. Okay, well that's... Somewhat exciting. The problem is I now have to get more of those. There's an exit on the left that's up. So I think we're gonna head over in that direction. Curious how you get over there on the left-hand side. I'm sure there's something there that I'm interested in. Okay, so the story is taking some interesting twists and turns. Um, we are definitely under control, definitely a... Uh, Bioshocky feel. Can you not? Yeah, definitely a a very Bioshock feel to the game right now. Um, because of the whole we are, you know, we are controlled, free will is not our own. Uh There we go. Okay, so now I can explore up here. Oh, and that's how we can get a lot of bombs, too. Excellent. Uh, save point. Kind of expected. We had gone a fair distance without it. Okay, so we can now explore this area. I want to tentatively call this, what, Area 6? Maybe Area 5? Well, no, more like Area 6, too. Uh, but we can now explore more of Eden. And these things give me address bombs. And more importantly, I now have address bombs... So there are a lot of areas I couldn't go to just recently in our explorations that I am now able to explore in a much more satisfactory way. Though I don't, um... Ah, damn. I don't think I'm going to be exploring right now. Hold on. 
I know I can I know I can hit this. There we go. I'm gonna address bomb real quick. Did that actually do anything? Okay, we're gonna mark this because there's something here. And those were health drainers. I'm not gonna climb yet. I don't, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we actually have the ability to do that yet either. But I'm getting the feeling we might get that ability sometime soon. Okay, what do we got in here? We have a lot of these health drainers. It's like that is the edge of the map, and that. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Can't tell. There it is. Okay. Annoying these things go on all sides of you. And these things can go through through the walls, which is even more irritating. That goes up. Want to investigate? Okay, so we're we're in a tower. Um, I'm getting the impression that this may be us heading up to Athedos. This may be um, the direction towards the breach tractor. Because if I was going to have something like that, I would definitely put it up top of a tower. Okay, that looks like as far right as we can go. Do we have anything over here to the left? do. But we can't do anything about it. Once again, blocked by stone. Thinking there's going to be an upgrade, like, really soon, because that is uh, two, that's an upgrade and a direction that I can't go because I'm missing that. Another boss so quickly? Save point? Save point. Okay, well... I'm not in the habit of uh, ending episodes just before bosses. So I guess we're going to go in that direction. Off to the left we go. Now this should be an actual boss. Is this a Thedos? It's a giant hornet. Yeah, it's a giant hornet. Ah, crap. This one doesn't even look par partially human. Uh, okay. I, did I see damage? Base, okay. Oh, mouth, I see. Damn, that doesn't hit particularly quickly. I want to get that health right there, but... Oh, no. I don't know what I'm getting hit by. Definitely a significantly harder boss than the last bosses we've seen. Uh, but I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm getting hit by right there. Hmm. I think definitely using the bombs on um on the ads is the way to go.
Damn, it just immediately just all ends on you. What am I? Oh, there's, oh, I see. Okay, I don't want to do that because it makes, uh, it turns the, um. It turns the ads into basically invisible little assholes. Okay, I need a, I need a different weapon because I can't hit it. That's the unfortunate thing about the bomb, is the bomb actually causes, um... If it doesn't kill them, it causes them to become basically effectively invisible. So I have to make a decision, do I use the bomb or not? Uh, I think I also cannot use the Axiom Disruptor as part of this. I need to use this Splinter Gun. Um, this Splinter Can, because I can't actually hit the mouth from all positions. I love this boss music. See, from here I can hit it no matter what. That's what I thought, okay. Why can I not hit these things? Okay, the ads are annoying as hell to hit. Not what I really wanted to do, but okay. Hmm. It's like, after I hit it, times maybe something like that uh, it does the uh, it does the stab so I need to figure out a place where I can kind of dodge that and then I just don't know I just don't have a really good uh, solution for the for the ads I just don't know what to do about them um, possibly change over into like Kilver um, in order to attack them. Significantly harder boss than any of the bosses we've seen up to this point. I... Nah, it's not just gonna let me leave. Okay. I can really only move when it, when it does this. Next one will be a stab. Nope. I was very incorrect by that. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Damn, I almost had it too. It was very close. I seem to get past it on the first ads, and then, um, I don't know how... The ads are just so annoying to hit with basically any weapon that I actually have access to. I don't know what to do about them, because they're dealing a fair amount of damage to be on their own. But I think we almost have it. I think we have to take this first hit, though. And then the next hit is when it spawns ads.
I can keep it up and to the right like it is right now. Nope, not quite. It's not quite too far away. Achievement unlocked, Uku. Hard boss, hard, hard boss. We can get all of our health back. Okay, so now we're having enemies that are not even, like he said, not even remotely human. I wonder what that ends up meaning for us. Okay, this should be an upgrade for the drone. Oh, is it a swap with the drone? Drone teleport teleports you to the location of your remote drone. You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. Um, oh, right. Yeah, in terms of uh, in terms of skills progression, and more importantly, of the areas I was not able to access just moments ago. Um, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, I think this is a power-up, or is it a health-up? Health node, okay. Yeah, that is a, that makes a lot of sense as a, um, as an upgrade. I probably was supposed to have this before doing that big, uh, node run that I did recently. Where was that? Where was that spot? I have a note for area two. Oh, it's right over here, right? Yeah. Oh, I still do this. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Mode, node Fragment 3. Excellent. Hey guys, we're going to go ahead and save. This, I think, has been a very good episode. We got a lot done. Um, I'm really kind of excited about this game. I'm really appreciative of it as a general rule. There's a lot of really great stuff in here. I'm having a lot of fun just exploring and finding stuff. So this has been a fantastic experience thus far. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you all, and I will catch you next time.